Well, I wish I was there tonight because sharing these video testimonies has uh, not become any less awkward for me during the COVID era. But Brad, your assistant called me and told me that you'd never been ordained, and uh, I was surprised. I was surprised that uh, you're going to be ordained this close to retirement. But as they say, better late than never. But uh, in thinking about the fact that you've almost waited <laughs> till you've got more ministry behind you than you do before you, I hope that's not true, but it's possible. Uh, this is a different kind of ordination. And uh, usually with an ordination, they take a young man, say, we recognize within you gifts for ministry, and we're going we're gonna to put our hands on you and ordain you and send you out into the world to minister. But really, your ordination is a little different because this ordination is a recognition of years and years of faithfulness. There's not a question as to your gifting. There's not a question as to your ability. There's certainly not a question as to your calling. And so uh, it's with great pleasure that I share that as a word of encouragement. There's a book that I got a few months ago uh, by a man named Charles Bridges, an old book written a long time ago. It's called The Christian Ministry. And there's a, a quote from that book that says this, If a young man has capacity, culture, and application may make him a scholar, a philosopher, or an orator. But a true minister must have certain principles, motives, feelings, and aims, which no industry or endeavors of men can either acquire or communicate. They must be given from above, or they cannot be received. Brad, I would say your ministry uh, is truly, and has truly been, um, a ministry that has been God-given. Uh, there's only one Brad Miles, and everybody knows it. Uh, there aren't very many people you'll ever run across in your whole life uh, who will love you the way Jesus loves you, who will make you feel like whatever you've got going on in your life, even if it's not that big of a deal, is the most important thing in the world. And Brad, you're that guy. You've been a constant source of encouragement to me. You've been a constant source of encouragement to my family and to our circle of friends. And so we say we love you. And uh, it's with great pleasure that I participate in this service on the council and even uh, these words being in the service, just to say that God has called you and it's proven and you've been tested. And we do look forward to the way the Lord's going to use you in the years to come uh, to advance his kingdom and to see many people learn of the love of Christ. So thank you, Brad, for your service. And thank you for being a good friend. I love you.